Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and we are Saturday, July 13th, 2019. And I wanted to do a little update concerning version 1903 or the May 2019 update. Uh, first, to remind everybody that if there's an own issue, there's a problem, there's a page that Microsoft has available where you actually can see the latest problems and what's fixed, what's not. Once again, I'll post a link to this uh, website in the description below the video. So that is something to check for. On the left side, you can check out resolved issues and you can check out uh, known issues and notifications. So notable are three things that I've seen which was the most reported. So partly responsible and partly fixed was the USB drive problem that prevented some from upgrading. Some had it fixed by a mitigation, but there were still some people reporting that there was some problem. Well, good news is that attempting to update with external USB device or memory card attached is resolved as of July 11th. So that's Thursday uh, that the uh, news came out. It is a fix that was within the Patch Tuesday updates, by the way, on Tuesday. So um, that is a fixed issue. Another one is a lot of you have been saying, hey, my Dolby Atmos headphones uh, home theater stuff doesn't work. The audio doesn't work. That is also resolved as of this week. And last but not least, the loss of uh, functionality in Dynabook smartphone link app is now back to normal. It's resolved. So, you know, they are fixing what they see in the problems as time goes by. Of course, some of you didn't see the update because of one of these problems. And uh, so now maybe it's going to appear if you haven't seen 1903 uh, appear yet in your Windows updates. And remember that uh, there's still some known issues. So there are things that are mitigated. There are things that are um, that they know about. So uh, there's a mitigation of the DGPU. So if you have a Surface Book 2, some problems there. There's a few little things like remote desktop connection may result in a black screen. Investigating Sandbox, still a problem on Sandbox mode, by the way, uh, for some of you out there. Mine works fine, but in some cases, uh, Sandbox mode fails to start, and they are still investigating that. So if you're waiting for that to happen, uh, you know, they're going to check it out. And there's a few things in here that you can check out what is uh, the list. This list is updated regularly, so look at it, uh, you know, weekly, once a week. Uh, you will see that there could be things that appear in here. There could be things, of course, that appear in the resolved issues. So it's uh, something that's very, very important to know. Uh, if you're maybe waiting for some specific problem to be fixed, uh, well, here is where all of that is happening. You might see new problems appear here. For example, if there's a Windows update like this week with the uh, Patch Tuesday, they might actually tell you, oh, there's something new that we now know that you guys have been reporting and so on. Uh, it's nice because, I mean, they're being more open on, you know, what's happening with Windows 10, and that is a good thing. So uh, check it out. The link to this is below in the description below the video. And, of course, some of the problems that are resolved this week might actually now enable you, if you couldn't, to upgrade to the May 2019 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.